Okay. We're leaving. Okay. Alright guys, um, so kind of a crazy story. I should probably talk about it before we leave. Oh, this is wild actually. Okay. Um my mom's getting surgery tomorrow, and it's like a really, really major surgery that is kind of well, it really is life impacting. It's a big surgery. I'm pretty nervous about it. Um, and when I was in the hospital, when I broke my leg, obviously my mom was there. So I was like, you know, I'm going to come out there and I'm going to wait. And I'm going to be there when you wake up from surgery uh, and support her. Actually, like a touchy subject because it's my mom. And there's nothing that hurts more than seeing your mom in pain. Like, I wish I could take the pain for her and get the surgery for her. Probably like most of you guys out there, as you probably feel for your parents, but anyways, it's a big moment and I wanted to bring the camera. The surgery is going to be involving metal screws and plates and stuff like that. So, I don't know, I thought it'd be cool, maybe for my mom, uh, to have footage before she has them because they're going to be in her forever. And I thought maybe it'd be cool, you know, I like watching the vlog before, you know, before major stuff like that. It's kind of a big moment in her life, so. I'm bringing you guys with me, and we gotta go. Oh, I think I'm gonna miss the Raptor, honestly. Hello. Where's Kiki? Okay. Kiki. Hi, baby. Look at you. Oh. Hi. Oh my God, you brought the whole crew. Yeah. Hi, Jelly. How you feeling? You're gonna make me cry. Oh, it's Kiki. It's Kiki. Oh, no, Kiki. I'm like, oh. Yeah. So, mom, how do you feel? You're gonna make me cry. No. How do you feel? I don't know. I'm scared. You're gonna make me cry. You got this, Rhonda. You see them. Are you okay? It's all good. We're gonna we're gonna go with Kiki. Kiki's so pretty. I know. I'm glad you guys are here. Come here. Come here. Come here, hey. <laughs> Don't mess with that. Come here. What are you doing? Kiki, you're so happy. It's like I haven't seen her forever. I, for I know. You. Well, you're going to see her a lot. I know. Yeah. Kiki's going to come, gonna come stay with us. It is 4.53 in the morning. Rhonda, do you need this card? Here we go, Mom. I know. This is it. Be careful. Do you want to tell oh, the people what, what, what surgery you're getting? I'm getting my hip fixed from eating sh** on the skateboard. That's plain and simple. Bayard. Can we get some lights off up here? Eww. <laughs> to the surgery room. We did, we did. We did, so uh, surgery's gonna take about one hour. Mm -hmm. We're checking in. All right, Mom. Okay. Stay strong. All right, sweetie. I love you. There she goes. They grow up so fast. They really do. You all ready? We're doing it. Are you ready to My do this? High five. All right. We're about to go in. It's going in. About to go in. Right, I'll see you. I'll see you on the other side, Mom. All right. So for the past hour and a half, um, everything's been getting kind of set up for the surgery. And she just got her medication, so she's gonna go to sleep and uh, get some screws. Salute. <laughs> Barrett is moving the big chair because he wants to fall asleep while we wait for Ronder to come out. <laughs> My mom has officially gone into surgery. She is going to be getting five screws and one plate in her hip today. That is the surgery. A couple weeks ago, I posted on my Instagram that she was skateboarding and she fell, hurt her hip, and she got an MRI. And they told her um, that part of the there's something messed up and she has to get surgery. So that's where we are today. And hip surgery is like a big thing though because it's like your biggest bone in your body and then you have screws and plates in there forever. Yeah. It's kind of like my ankle. I got two screws in that, but my mom's gonna have five and like a big plate. So we're all gonna be twins. You've ha you tore your ACL. Yeah. I snapped my ankle. And now my mom has bolts in her hip. 
It was the MRI. When she had her MRI, they found fractures that they couldn't see in the end. Yeah, me and Baird came down here, and uh, we, we just wanted to be here when she wakes up from surgery, because that's always fun. You yeah. Know? How good did you feel when you woke up? Exactly. Everyone there? Exactly. I know I know it, it's a good vibe, so that's why we, we came down here from... Uh, from T Mech, <laughs> from, from, from the from the house, and we're we're chilling here. At Six a.m. Got our morning coffee, and we're we have about two more hours, and then we're gonna see her wake up. Yeah. Hey Baird, how was that? Is that good? Oh, cool. Just checking. The surgery should only be going on for probably the next 20 minutes. It was only an hour and a half long. Um, again, it's on her hip. Five screws, I think, in one plate. Uh, but should be just a matter of a couple minutes, and then we're going to go in there and praying that the entire surgery goes completely smooth and there's no other problems. Get in, get out. That's the goal. Quick commercial break. All right, we're back at the house. Um, I, I have to film this because... My Valentine is here, and today is the last day that you guys can get the T-Fox teddy bear in time for Valentine's Day with a custom message from me inside the foot. We've already explained it in past videos, but anyways, my Valentine. I gotta give her the bear. You already know, she's at the house. There she is. Kiki, come in here. Oh my gosh, Kiki. I have a, I have a Valentine's Day gift for you. There you go. Do, do you love it? Kiki. Alright guys, update. We are waiting for my mom to come out of surgery. The sun's out at this point. Like, it's out. We've been up for four hours already. Uh, right, 10.51. She's awake. Oh, she's not up yet. She's not up yet. We're gonna, we're gonna say hi to her first. Mom is healing, so we're gonna go back to the house. But everything went good. Really good. That's actually. good news. That's really good, good news. I want to give a massive shout out. Thank you, Baird, for coming down here, bro. Oh, Baird, that's not Baird's mom, but Baird wanted to come down here and show support. So much love to this guy. And shout out to Steve, always. So it's been the squad. This has been like the squad at the hospital. We've, been We've all been hours. sleeping on chairs and everything. But Rhonda's going to heal and we'll be good. And what an amazing thing to walk out of the hospital to. A completely blue sky. I don't know if you guys live in California, but the past week it's been raining so hard, like harder than it has in a year, nonstop for a week straight. And now there's just blue skies. We left the hospital and on our way home, um, we all wanted to stop at a street bike store. So we're at a street bike store right now and me and Baird are talking each other into getting bikes. Yeah. So this is a $30,000 Ducati. Yeah. Let's see it Baird. Let's see it, pin it, pin it. Yo, you look good. Yo, pinned, you're tough. He's tough. He's tough. Right, let's go give him a little tour, bro. Let's show him some bikes. Which is your favorite? Uh, no, this is actually my favorite. This is the most expensive, but it's not my favorite. What's your favorite bike? What's your favorite? This is probably my favorite. Just it's a this is a V4S. This bike has 200 horsepower. They don't normally even rank bikes off of horsepower, right? Like I don't think so. Like a 200 horsepower for a bike is like way like a lot. I don't know yeah. the CCs because normally it's in CCs. Yeah, that's what they that's what they always do. They do CCs. CCs, I know, but this is 200 horsepower. 1100. 1100 CCs. Wow. If you know what that means, you know how fast it is. Okay, we got a bunch of Ducatis right here. A bunch of nice, nice, nice bikes. And then we even got some dirt bikes over here. Guys, you see anything you like for the house? Wow. Feel free to comment down below. But. Let's show them the bike I like. Guys, I really, really want a street bike. Like, really bad. Well, I've wanted a street bike for a long time, but I don't want to let myself get one. Why, Baird? Because it's a street bike. It's like, a, like I'm accident prone. Very. I'm yeah. very accident prone, and I also get comfortable on things way too quickly, which is why I really want this bike. Everyone, comment down below if this, if I should get this, because I might trade my Grom for it. Tanner was like, "Hey, Baird, can you see me on this?" And I was like, "Yes, but that's a problem." Hey, get that. Underneath the windshield. Ooh. I'm gonna just be chilling. Ooh. Hey, and then you can get in the Porsche and I can drive this. We can go race each other. Wow. I think it should happen. Some Deleuze runs. Hey, I'll race you on the Grom. I feel like it needs to happen. <laughs> it's just my, yeah, race me on the Grom. <laughs> Finally <laughs> pass you. That was your only thing. You a bike that goes faster than the Grom so you can pass me instead of Exactly, passing. exactly, and I'll be able to. <laughs> guys, and the cool thing about this, guys, is I, I originally wanted a 600cc bike, which is like a, quite a bit of power for a beginner. This one's 390, so it's like right in the middle. It's, a, it's, it's more than the Grom and it's enough to like entertain myself, but it's not like a deadly amount. Yeah, yeah. This only has three hundred. This is a good starter. It's like your size. So I don't know. Comment down below. I really, I really want this. Oh my god! I didn't even see all these bikes out here. Wow. This is a Ninja Four Hundred. This might be a different vibe. It still sits kind of high. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it's fast. Enough. Yeah, you're on your tiptoes. It doesn't feel fast enough. 
Yeah. The other one, I could get full fast position. And it just fit you. This one, my face goes over the mirror. So I'm gonna have no wind helping anywhere. It's not gonna do anything for me. <laughs> if I'm full tuck, this bike's not gonna do the trick. Yeah. Let's try the ninja. Let's try the ninja. Ooh. See, that's more your size. Ooh. You can like see a hole. It's like, it like, it's all open. It's like a big circle. Just around. I don't know if all the, the other bikes aren't like that. This thing's nice. All right, which bike would you go with, Baird? Okay, yo, there's so many good ones. I don't know, that's the problem. The outside has that's more good ones. Most powerful bike, obviously. But more, most powerful bike. Oh, yo, yo, I didn't even see this. This thing's at least 400 horse. 400 horse. Watch out, this is a wheelie boy right here. Oh, oh they have another warehouse with more bikes. Oh man, bro, the handles are so close to them. Yeah, how's that one? Look at all these Ducatis. Just, it. Yo, carbon fiber on bikes. We're in the real business right now. Real business. Look at that. 1098S. You know what that means? Okay. That means it has 1098S's wow. inside of the motor. Wow. Yep. That's crazy. I know. What's up, brother? How you doing? Pretty good, man. Nice to meet you, bro. We're checking out some bikes. <laughs> nice to meet you, bro. We're checking out some bikes. <laughs> And just like that, we're uh, we're back at the house and we're ending the vlog. I'm with Brady. Whatever that. Um, yeah. So that that's the vlog, guys. I didn't really film a whole. Thank you so much, Brady. You're a legend. I didn't really film a whole lot when my mom first woke up because she was like on a bunch of drugs that put her to sleep. Just got a bunch of screws in her leg. I obviously saw her after um, the surgery and everything. But I'm gonna go to the house and give you guys an update in um, probably the next couple of vlogs. We'll get that going. But without further ado, peace out. Let's roll the fox. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video because it was amazing. Don't forget to get the merch. There will be a link in the description. Make sure to sub and like. Roll the outro.